What's up everybody, another beautiful day in the Emerald Dream and this is how you beat Mythic Gira. Now I'll be going over all the new mechanics, how to deal with them and our overall strat. But I will not go over all the heroic mechanics, but I do have guides out for that. Setup wise, good old 2 tanks, 4 healers and 14 DPS. This fight is a mix of single target and bursty AoE cleave when spears spawn. On Mythic, the big new thing is that you'll have to deal with 2 torments whenever boss reaches full energy. So when Mark for torment goes out, the torment you soak is the torment you don't get. Meaning if you soak the torment on the right, which is the healing absorb torment, you will have to deal with leap and soak torment. Hope that makes sense. Now on top of this, everything's been scaled up, you get 6 spears, and when you heal off the healing absorb, you fire off more balls. And everything hurts a lot more. Now with that out of the way, let's go over the fight. Cue the picture. For the spears, we had 3 marks around the boss, and anytime spears went out, we stacked 2 on each mark. You easily survive getting hit by two, but pop a defensive or consumable if you're not at full health. The goal here is to manage to stack the spears as close to boss as possible, so most of them are within cleave range. The faster you're able to nuke them down, the better. For the torments, we assigned four range for the first two torment soaks and melee for the last torment, as we didn't want healers to run too much, but you can use whatever to be honest. First torment, healing absorb plus soak on boss. Now these overlap a bit, so first you'll get healing absorb on half the raid, then shortly after the soak slam starts. This works a bit like the brand on Smolderon, if you don't get the first set of healing absorbs you will 100% get the second set of absorbs. Due to that, simply have anyone without the healing absorb always soak the slam. Pro tip, you can pre-immune the healing absorb, and I recommend only doing that if you didn't get the first set of healing absorbs. So for example, stabby mech stab, the rogue didn't get the first absorb so they soak the slam then they pop cloak of shadows right before the second healing absorb and ta-da one less to heal now for the players with healing absorb instantly move away from boss and spread until your absorb is gone if you can self heal do so unless your plan is to victory rush the boss while you're in melee uh, don't don't do that and for the second torment we soak the one on the right which is leap plus soak split your raid in half for the soak and have one player bait the leap for far away from boss. That way boss will always jump away and then straight back to the raid. If the boss isn't centered between the spears following a set of leap, make sure to adjust her position and melee be very aware of this. Tanks preferably call it out if you need to turn around unless you want to slay your melee, which is justifiable. Keep in mind though, there is a lot of raid damage going on with this overlap since the leap trucks the raid and you're soaking the smash as well. And depending on your DPS at the end of the fight, you'll potentially get the last torment which will be the worst one heal absorb plus leap for this you want to have one range bait the leap away and everyone with heal absorb spread far away but you still want to make sure to heal the absorb so the raid will blow up Overall though, this fight is mainly about doing the spears properly, and as soon as that part works, the rest is very straightforward. So really do focus on the spear, dropping him off properly and everyone making sure they die fast. Because not only do these speared players take a lot of damage, they also cannot dodge mechanics properly since they get pulled back to the spear if they move too far away. So make sure them spears die fast. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you liked it and let me know if you downed a boss. Now if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or become a patron, twitch sub or YouTube member. And get access to the stanky discord where you can get help with anything rating or enhancement related. Or if you just want to support my work. And uh, don't forget the usual stuff. Like, comment, subscribe and uh, slap that notification bell. It really helps me out. Thank you all for watching. I will uh, see you next time.